Welcome back, it's Ebony, and today I just want to talk about what's going on in the world. This is already a very difficult time with COVID-19, but here we are once again, faced with the challenging task of fighting for justice in light of another black body taken from us. People are out doing many things to bring change, and I want you to know that you are not too young to get involved in social activism because it directly affects you. So, here's some things you can do. First and foremost, educate yourself. Watch YouTube videos. I've seen videos on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. They are literally everywhere. Read articles and make sure they're from credible sources. Don't just read headlines and believe everything that they're saying. You can watch Facebook Lives from protests in Madison and all around the country. You can also sign petitions. Once you've educated yourself, do not be afraid to educate others. Share the things you've learned with your friends, family, on your social media. I guarantee it will provoke a conversation that needs to be had. Because everyone will have different experiences and you can all learn from them. And when you're ready to hit them with the facts, here are a few. One in every 1,000 black boys and men will be killed by police in their lifetime. For white boys and men, the rate is 39 out of 100,000. American police shoot and kill far more people than other advanced countries. There is a very false race-based belief that black people experience less physical pain. In computer-based stimulation training, officers are quicker to shoot black suspects. It's possible that this is due to the officer's own subconscious stereotypes and biases about black people, thus leading to unnecessary fatal results in the field. My last point is that you cannot be afraid to make people uncomfortable. This is a tough subject, but we all got to get uncomfortable to learn. You cannot ignore what's going on. Ignorance is not bliss when innocent bodies are dying. Are you angry? No. Oh, good for you. Are you angry? Trying not to. Trying not to be. Now, does that take a lot of energy? Yes. Yes. Are you holding it in? Yes, and are you trying really, really hard not to react to me? Yes. Yes, and are you trying really hard not to look at me? At the moment, yes. Yes, why? Because I don't want to make myself more upset. You don't want to make yourself more upset by looking at me? Yes. Right. Does that take a lot of time, a lot of energy? Yes. Yes. Is that hard for you? Yes. Could you develop an ulcer over this? No. If you had to do it every day, what would happen to your blood pressure? It would rise. Yeah. If somebody stood over you and you knew it was going to happen every day, or you expected it to happen every day, or it happened when you didn't expect it to, or it happened to your kids every day, after it happened to your mother every day. The only change that ever happens is when people stand out and I was at my door. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot. Are you in any physical danger here? Are you in any physical danger here? Is that girl in any physical danger here? Emmett Till was hanged by his neck after he was beaten almost to death simply because he said, made a statement to a white woman. Uh-uh. <coughs> uh-uh. No. 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 You don't come back in here until you've apologized to every person in this room because you just exercised a freedom that none of these people of color have. When these people of color get tired of, ra of racism, they can't just walk out because there's no place in this country where they aren't going to be exposed to racism. They can't even stay in their own homes and not be exposed to racism if they turn on the television. But you, as a white female, when you get tired of being judged and treated unfairly on the basis of your eye color, you can walk out that door. And you know it won't happen out there. You exercise the freedom they don't have. We declare our right on this earth to be a man, to be a human being, to be respected as a human being, to be given the rights of a human being in this society, on this earth, in this day, which we intend to bring into existence by any means necessary. Black Lives Matter!